Hello and welcome back to the UniHosted YouTube channel. My name is Fernando and in today's video I'm going to show you how you can do a factory reset on a Unify access point. So let's get started. All right, let's begin with the first method, which is the easiest one to do the uh, factory reset on the access point. And you just need access to your Unify controller. So I'm here at my local controller and I have here this um, U6 Plus access point. So just need to click on the access point and we need to go into the settings tab or the gear icon for this device. If we go down, we have the remove button over here. Okay. In red, we just need to click over here and we have the warning okay, that the device will be removed from the controller and it will be set to the factory settings. So let's go and click on remove. Now I have this access point over here. You can see that the LED right now is uh, almost blue or, you know, with the adopted blue uh, LED. And now you can see that it changed and it's um, changing to blank and it's blink. So it's no more. It's what you are going to see with your access point. Okay. Uh, might take a minute or two to do the uh, reset on the access point. You just need to wait. Please keep the device connected to uh, the network and the energy. OK, if we refresh over here, you can see that the device is not there anymore in our devices on the controller. OK, so this is normal. And that means that the device has been removed from the uh, controller. And maybe in a few seconds, if I refresh this over here, we just wait a little bit more after the device um, restarts. Uh, we will have the access point ready to be adopted again. Uh, and of course, this is if the device is in the same network of your controller. If it's not on your same network, uh, you will need to do the um, layer tree adoption. OK, so I'm going to adopt the device again to the controller so I can show you the um, other way that you can do a factory reset. You may have some issues, some connectivity issues between your controller and the Unify access point. So there is something else that you can do uh, if you cannot perform the reset from here. OK, now. You will need two things to do this um, second method, which is basically an SSH connection and a remote command to do the reset. You will need the IP address okay, of the access point, and you will also need the SSH credentials so you can connect with SSH and do the reset. Okay, So the access point is connected to this controller again. And what I'm going to do to get the credentials, I have the IP address over there already. Um, so I'm just going to get into settings and into system and then into the advanced stuff. Now, going down a little bit, we have the username, which is local. OK, and we have the password over here. So I'm just going to click on the little eye to show the password. And I have in this notepad the password already. OK, it's the same one. So back at the Unify devices, I have the IP address. Now, again, if you don't know the IP address, um, so you can use something like maybe a uh, um, discovery tool. Or you can also use something like a network scanner so you can get the IP address of the access point. Uh, and of course, the device from where you are doing the uh, connection with SSH needs to be on the same network of that access point. Okay, it needs to have connectivity with the access point. So let's go to Beauty. This is the application that I like to use for SSH connections. And let's type the IP address of the access point. So just click open over here. Now, this is because I've been playing a little bit with this access point several times. So I'm having this um, warning. You may get another uh, message over here. Since I know and I'm, I'm aware that this is my access point, I'm just going to click accept. But you may um, have to consider other things if you're working with SSH connections and other kind of devices. OK, so over here, we are going to log in um, as local. OK, and I'm just going to copy the password and paste it over here. And this means that we are connected to the access point. OK, we're seeing the welcome or uh, notice message from Unify. Now, what we need, basically this command over here. So let's copy this and paste the command over here and press enter. Now we will see a few messages over here. And same as before, um, I have the access point and doesn't have the blue LED anymore on the LED and it's changing and it's blinking. Now, um, like I mentioned before, if you're having connectivity issues and this is why you're doing this kind of reset, uh, something that you should do is to, uh, even if you're not doing the reset from the controller, is doing the uh, removal anyway. So then you can do the adoption again. OK, you, you cannot have like double entries. So after you do this reset command, please go ahead to your controller and remove the device anyway. So you can then uh, perform the adoption. OK, since I, I'm already um, or the controller is on the same network, you can see that it's showing offline right now. That's because just the access point is doing a restart. OK, uh, but probably uh, the device will be adopted again. OK, and this is because I didn't remove the device from the controller. OK. So that was all for the uh, remote uh, reset. And in the next part of the video, I'm going to show you how you can do a manual reset. OK, how you can do it from uh, the access point using a tool. All right. So now on the manual method to do the reset on the access point. OK, I have here the same access point that I was playing with. And if we turn around the access point, 
uh, next to the cable, you will see a tiny hole. Okay, that's where the reset button is located. So I'm just going to use a screwdriver to uh, press the reset button. Um, now you can use something like a clip if you like. Now be very careful because those buttons are sensitive. Okay, and you might break the button. So you just need to introduce your tool in uh, the reset, and then you will see after a few seconds, okay, around 10, that the LED or the blue LED of the access point will change. Okay, and similar to the other uh, methods that we were doing, it will change. It will turn to um, blank and it will start with the restart it will start blinking um, and then the device will turn again to the factory reset state okay so this is a method or manual method that you can use in case that the other ones um, you cannot use them thank you for watching this is fernando for uni hosted if you found this video helpful don't forget to hit the like button subscribe and turn on the notifications for any future video if you have any questions or any tips to share just drop them on the comments we would love to hear from you. See you in the next video.